There are hundreds of occupations in agribusiness, but until a few years ago, Jerry Steger had one of the most unique we've ever heard of. He and his wife Melba were professional gopher trappers. That's right, bounty hunters for alfalfa's public enemy number one. And darn successful at it, too. Together, they'd harvest more than 60,000 of these four-legged rodents annually. Well, one year, they even had a crew and harvested more than 120,000. Well, that's quite a job, you might say, and a darn important one, too, because gophers are a tremendous economic liability, as Jerry explains. The losses that they uh, create are just astronomical, meaning this, that uh, they compute in this area that uh, they uh, lose uh, approximately the value of two bales of hay per gopher per year. Now, that isn't what he, just what he eats. It's what he eats, but what he covers up that'll never get to grow. And lastly, what, uh, uh, meaning the damage to the equipment uh, when they're trying to hay these fields, it's just, it's just unreal. Their mouth is designed so that these four front teeth are in fact ex outside of their mouth. Their lips uh, can close within the teeth, point being that they can actually cut off a root subsurface and not get any dirt in their mouth. Another thing, the way their hair is, it folds forward as easily as it folds back. And it's so that they can't get themselves into a tight spot into a tunnel and go to back up and the hair hold them. and Slow uh, and down. Uh, yeah, and that way it'll just fold forward and they can back right out of a tight spot just as easy as they went into it. For many years, Steger used specialized traps like these. The product is still on the market and it works real well. But Steger has taken this rodent routine a step further, developing a new product that he calls the rodent torch. Now, this thing may look like something from outer space, but it's darned effective. Doesn't take any prisoners, so to speak. Steger's rig mounts on a four-wheeler, so it's easy to move around. It consists of two pressurized tanks, pressure hoses, and a five-foot wand with special valves. The wand probes deep into a gopher tunnel to inject a mixture of oxygen and propane. Now, that in itself should prove fatal for these pesky rodents. But Steger wants to make sure. He pulls a trigger on the torch handle that ignites the mixture, setting off a muffled explosion that looks and sounds like this. So long, gophers. Now, that's a concussion that can kill about four to five gophers within a 20-foot tunnel, a success rate of about 95%. The rodent torch is easy to operate, Steger says, but he always wears earplugs, goggles, and gloves for safety protection. So if you've got a major problem with gophers, here's the fellow you should contact today. You can do away with a lot of aggravation in your hayfields.